Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietschak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to talk to you about the first step that is required to change your life, which is acknowledging where you are right now. And I know a lot of you may have seen The Secret and The Secret focuses on where are you going, about your goals. It's focusing on your vision and your goals and a lot of us are living in that area. Now the truth is in order to reach your goals, yes it's very important to state the goal, but the minute you actually state the goal you have to really look at where are you with your habits right now. And uh, I'm actually currently doing a lesson called Knowing Doing Gap of Thinking into Results Process, which is the Bob Proctor's process that I help people with. And uh, it really hit me how unwilling I've been to look at where I am. Where am I at with my habits? So for instance, I'll give you a little uh, story. One of the things that I've discovered, I'm actually working on uh, changing my paradigm of getting up early in the morning. And I've noticed I have a, an accountability partner and I was uh, saying to her every single day, this is the time I get up and I managed to text her every single time I woke up and then twice throughout the week I actually fell asleep after I texted her. And you know what? I didn't even admit that to her. Only after it happened second time and I actually asked myself, what is actually going on here? Isn't that a bit counterproductive that I am working on my paradigm, I want to change my getting up early, earlier schedule and yet what I'm doing, what my body is doing is pressing the snooze button and, and actually going to sleep. And not only that, I'm saying to my accountability partner that I, I'm awake and then I fall asleep and I don't say to her that, hey, I'm not actually awake. So I realized that and thankfully, you know, I've gone through uh, a lot of work on uh, my habits and I know that pretty much my conditioning or my programming, my habitual behavior is simply against me. And not even that, whatever my beliefs are behind it, they will try to stop me from actually making a change. So I actually have to really see where I am and admit where I am. And so then I said to my accountability partner, hey, this is what's been happening and I will never ever do that again and I'm on track right now getting up and if I'm not getting up I'm honest about it now what was actually coming up against this against me actually being honest and really acknowledging where I am was my so-called ego or maybe pride or hey you know I can't admit that I'm not doing it I should be doing it and and you know I gave her my word and all that stuff so it was better not to do it and the truth is that it was actually counterproductive for me and how many times we actually do that in our lives? I was talking to someone yesterday about changing her financial habits and you know she's been in debt for many many years and she's been pushing that away to actually look at what am I actually spending my money on every single day. How many of us are actually pushing that away what is so right now? And the truth is the main reason behind it is our thinking, so our beliefs. So for instance for me it was like oh no you know as a coach I should be able to get up at the time and you know it looks bad if I say that I'm not getting up up. And the truth is, even as a coach, it doesn't matter how much knowledge and how much development I've done, I still have paradigms. I still have habits and I have habitual ways of thinking. And most of them I've actually picked up from my environment, not even from me. And so when it comes to dealing with what is, it's easier. What I found it uh, are very helpful to look at. This is me and I have my goals and I have my habits that I want to create. And then there is my current habitual behavior and my habitual way of thinking that is going to try to stop me. Now, if I don't acknowledge where I'm at with that right now, then I'm not going to be able to change at all. And this is what helps me. It's kind of like disconnecting. There's me and there's my habits. My habits are not me because a lot of the time what I've noticed, especially when it comes to money, when people are not earning money, they find it difficult to admit where they're at. Or if they're continuously in debt, they find it really difficult to even look at where am I spending my money on? But if you're not willing to do the first stage and manage it, you're not ready to move forward to actually create what you want and to change your habits. So the first stage is we have to be willing to look at what's so. And if you feel guilty, stop feeling guilty. Just acknowledge that you're this, 
and you have your goals and then you have your paradigm. You have your habitual behavior and your habitual beliefs. And if you don't admit where your money is going and for instance, you know, where your money is being spent, are you actually overspending? Are you uh, spending everything you've got or are you actually putting money on the side? You have no way to start handling your finances and actually making an increase. If you don't acknowledge where you're at with your habits uh, and your behaviors and your beliefs, then you cannot make a shift to another level. And that's very, very hard for some for some of us, most of us. I mean, you know, I've done personal development for many, many years and I still have difficulty with that. But thankfully, I stop myself, I notice, and then I'm ready to acknowledge this is where I am. And a lot of us also... Once we acknowledge, okay, I've never been able, for instance, to, uh, you know, multiply my income. I've always been spending every single penny that I've got. For instance, some people might be in that kind of situation. And yet, we're not looking for external support. It's kind of like that thinking about, hey, it's going to fix itself out. It's not going to fix itself. If you have been experiencing the same patterns financially, you're not going to change them on your own. And it's not something, it's not deficiency to say that it's kind of like hey if I want to get fit I'm going to get myself a personal trainer if I want to get mentally fit if I want to change my paradigm I want to multiply my income I'm going to get myself external support and then I'm going to look for a mentor that can help me and this is a lot of the time we actually have to really acknowledge this is where I'm at and sometimes I cannot do it myself and it's not to your detriment to say that it's much easier you're actually saving yourself so much time when you're finding a coach or a mentor that can help you do that so I hope you're going to not listen to your ego this week if it's trying to stop you from seeing where you're at and you're going to be very clear in terms of your current situation what it's been over the years and if you want to shift it make an investment. Look for the right person that can help you and community because trust me, majority of people are spending their whole lives doing the same thing over and over again and pretty much getting the same results. Even if you're successful in many areas, if there is an area that is not working for you, find a mentor. Find someone that can help you and support you because you're going to save yourself time and trouble and it's not uh, and it's not to your detriment. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It's simply your habitual behavior is not in alignment with what you want. That's it. And when someone get, helps you change it, literally this is when you will see the results changing for you and your life will change. So I hope that gave you some food for thought and you're going to be okay admitting where you're at and being very clear in terms of what's required for you to make a shift to another level. Hope to see you soon. Take care.